I am Dr. Jaydesh Kumar Kankuntla, MD Internal Medicine, practicing as Internal Medicine Specialist in Apollo Spectra Hospitals, Kondapur, Hyderabad. Today I want to discuss on who should be screened for diabetes. Now diabetes is a universal disease, it is a pandemic, it is a present in every part of the world and it is affecting anyone of any age. Diabetes is associated with lots of complications like brain stroke, heart attack, kidney failure, in various recurrent infections, effect to the blood vessels which may leading to amputation of the limbs etc. And diabetes is the leading cause of death through heart attacks. So this makes it very important that this disease has to be screened as early as possible, should be identified and it should be treated appropriately to prevent the complications. So the screening of diabetes has become a very important part as a healthcare provider which I can, pro I can transfer to my people, they should be aware who should be screened. Anyone who is above 45 years has to be screened for diabetes. Anyone who was having diabetes during their pregnancy has to be screened. Obesity where the BMI is more than 25 has to be screened. Who is having very less physical activity, who is physically less active for more than 3 days a week has to be screened. Having other high blood pressures, who is having uncontrolled uh, diet on more amount of fatty food and fried food should also be screened. So the, these people has to be screened and they should be made aware. So in part of screening of diabetes we should check fasting blood sugar, postprandial blood sugar, HbA1c and random blood sugar. In diabetes screening we will screen it to be making them whether they are normal, whether they are pre-diabetic, whether they are diabetic. So normal value should be the fasting blood sugar should be less than 100, 2 hours postprandial blood sugar should be less than 140, the HbA1c should be less than 5.7 and random blood sugar should be 200. This is normal values. We need to identify the pre-diabetic people in which the fasting blood sugar is between 101 to 125, 2 hours postprandial blood sugar is between 141 to 199, HbA1c between 5.7 to 6.4 and random blood sugar is more than 200. These are the people who can be converted into diabetes and if we identify people at the stage of pre-diabetes through screening, we can prevent them becoming diabetics and we can help them becoming healthy people, normal people. And diabetes is said if fasting blood sugar is more than or equal to 126, postprandial blood sugar is more than or equal to 200, HbA1c is more than or equal to 6.5 and random blood sugar is 200 along with symptoms of diabetes. If any two values are present in the investigations, he has to be labeled as a diabetes and it has to be treated through lifestyle modifications and appropriate pharmacological drugs. So, I want to emphasize on screening diabetes, identifying lots of people in pre-diabetic stage, telling them how to prevent being a diabetic and helping them being healthy. Thank you.